Let's talk about the size of the actual bag itself and what you can fit in there and what it looks like. This bag is empty. None of the clips are done. The strap is drawn into my position. And as you can see, that's what the bag looks like when it's on. Commuter bag. You bring the Y strap around, connect it there, all that's done. But what I really want to show you is the inside of the bag and what we can jam inside. So we're going to break the two side compression straps, which are standard on all the commuter bags. All straps, all uh, compression straps and front straps are going to be inch and an eighth or until I post differently if I go back to an inch. I really like an inch and an eighth when you're wearing winter gloves. It really, really helps out well. There, it's, it's, a nice, it's a nice big clip. You know, it's not quite two inches where it's big and heavy. It's just, you know. So let's open this thing up. And we're gonna take one army jacket without liner. One heavy duty thermal sweatshirt with hood. Gonna jam that in there. Shemak. Gonna do the clip here. Gonna do the clip here. Gonna tuck straps as always, just to keep them from going into traffic and falling in between cars. Close that baby over. You still got a ton of room in there, and that's like two big bulky items. You still have all the pocketing, you still have room on top, you still have room for this flap to be extended. Alright, gonna throw that bag on. Grab my patented design thumb hole on all my bags, hold the weight, draw, bring this one up, tuck the strap, no mirrors, ready to go, really no difference. We still got a ton of room in that bag for more stuff. So that's the volume, that's the bulk, that's the commuter bag.